so excited to tell you I just launched the first line of Saronster t-shirts. Yeah. I wanted to capture the entire electric lifestyle. Ride, charge, repeat. So I created four limited edition ride, charge, repeat shirts, starting with the Saron design, classic ride, charge, repeat, the legalized e-bikes design, the ride, charge, repeat box logo, keep it simple, and of course, a kart shirt. This one looks so badass. Ride, charge, repeat with the go-kart that I'm giving away. I'm giving away the 70 mile per hour electric go-kart that's one of one. And each one of these shirts gets you dozens of entries into the giveaway. These shirts are directly connected to the giveaway and there's only a limited quantity. If you go crazy and you want all four shirts, you can get them in a discounted bundle with 10X entries on it. So that's over a thousand entries. Everything's linked down below. Good luck. Let's go ride the Stark Vard. Out here with Electro Brap and his new Stark Varg. This is the newest and probably baddest electric dirt bike on the market. Electro Brap, can you walk us through what we're standing in front of? This is the 80 horsepower Stark Varg. Uh, that means strong wolf in Swedish. It's a Swedish company that's based out of actually Barcelona, Spain is where they're manufacturing them. This is the highest alpha trim, which, which means 80 horsepower. That's 60 kilowatts. It's a full-size dirt bike, so it's it's 260 pounds, so she's a big girl, and just a few pounds more than a conventional gas bike. 18-inch rear wheel on this, because I went for the enduro spec. You can get a 19 if you like for racing. Um, I'm more of a forest guy, so we went with the 18, huge chunky knobs on that, a 120-wide tire, so it's pretty massive. 21-inch front. This bike is by far and away the nicest bike that I've ever personally seen. I had the Alta before. I've had every kind of brand you can think of. Not only is it an excellent performer, not only does it have amazing specs, it'll go 90 miles per hour, it basically infinite torque. It is just a work of art in my mind. And they really went the distance with all these little fine details. So not only are you getting a great performer, you're getting something you can like be proud to look at. One of the first things that I think is really cool is that the dash is actually a phone. And it comes with the phone, a Stark Future, you know, uh, labeled phone. It's their own phone. Pretty cool. You boot it up, says Varg on it and all this. It lets you know your battery percentage. It records your rides, where you went, GPS. You can adjust the power output, the regeneration. There's just so many fine details with the CNC. Just how precise the machine work is on all of this. Really, really a marvel of engineering just for a phone. Just for the phone mount for on a dirt mount. That doesn't stop there. It's full crushed, real carbon fiber, real gold inlay on the logo. The carbon fiber front subframe holds the plastics in. The plastics are less pieces than a conventional bike. There's only a, a couple here, whereas with like a traditional dirt bike, there's a lot more. You have full KYB suspension, which is similar to what Yamaha uses. If you ask me, couldn't go a better way. They put all the adjustments up on the top. Really, really nice. Same thing with the axle adjusters. They have clickers, so you can click, 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 six clicks, click, 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 six clicks. You know your rear tire straight. You don't have to like run around your bike and you know measure it and stuff. You know. It's it's precise. You can see that you have the aircraft aluminum handle. This is something the Alta lacked. I had nowhere to pick it up. This is fantastic. Not only off and on and off the stand, but while you're in the trails, if encountering the things that I like to ride, you're constantly having to pick up your bike. A lot of this stuff is a little Alta inspired too. That was the first electric motocross bike uh, that came out that was actually like worthy of like notoriety. And you'll see like we have this over under reduction design, the motor's on top and the reduction's down here. It's a little tiny water cooled motor. Controller is also water cooled. There's a water pump and radiator under the seat. So they've hidden all this away and keep it nice and beautiful. But it is a water cooled setup in order to like extract that 80 horsepower without like professional riders having to worry about overheating. This battery is a magnesium casing. The cells are actually bonded with Stark special process that they won't reveal exactly how it's done to the case so that way the cell's heat can extract straight into the case. They just did things that you just didn't have to do. So I like to think of this as the Ferrari of dirt bikes. It's, it's hats off to Stark in my mind. Is there any part of the bike that you think actually could be improved on that maybe you're disappointed by? Sure, sure. I, th nothing's perfect. This is their first run of, uh, of bikes. I might be one of the first people to, to have one. One of the first things I noticed that might need some improvement is the kickstand. I opted for one and it's about an inch short. We have a little bit of rubbing on the mud flap. The phone app works well, but it does, you know, it's in its early stages. So I could see a lot of things improving there. 
Um, but other than those three things, I feel like the bike's a masterpiece. That is about the worst I could say about it. I'm on the Stark Varg. We've got a Suron Ultra B. We've got an Ulta. We've got a Suron with the MX Ron controller and an RFN from Apollo. This is a badass group of electric bikes. You press and hold red to turn it on and you press the bottom mode button and it turns green. Now it's on. You know it's on because you see the dash. Oh man. <laughs> I actually feel like I fit this pretty well. I can have my tiptoes on one side. Thank you so much for letting me ride this, seriously. Hey, <laughs> on the Varg. Let's go. I've been really looking forward to this bike. It feels so nimble and light, but it's the same weight as the bike in front of me, the Alta, which I've ridden and it felt super heavy. This is the same weight, but it feels light. I can't believe I'm on a Varg right now. I can't see what the dust. Wow! Oh my god, this is mode one! This is mode one! This is crazy! Oh no kickstand on that? Sheesh! <laughs> Just leaves a trail of destruction. So bad. Dude, you look mean on that thing. Oh. Ah, I just hurt my knee so bad trying to stop the bike from tipping. Lesson learned. Hope that doesn't hurt later. I can't even see where I'm going with the dust. I'm just hitting the throttle. At one point I posted on my Instagram. I said, hey, if anybody in California has a Stark Varg, hit me up because I want to see it. And so this dude was like, hey, message me. So I messaged him. So I messaged him and I was like, hey, you have a Stark Varg? He's like, yeah. I'm like, that's dope. Can I check it out? He's like, no. Well, why'd you, why'd you tell me to hit you up? <laughs> so this video is for you, big guy. I got my hands on one. Dude, let's go. This is amazing. I'm so out of my element, but I feel like pretty confident on this. It's an 80 horsepower beast, but you can take it through the tight technical with little to no experience and it feels compliant. We've got three of the baddest bikes in the world right here. I think so. Ultra B, Alta, the OG, the Varg. Look at this carbon fiber with the gold. Wow. So Electrobrap in front of me started with YouTube. He was an Ulta guy, which is the bike he's on right now. It's like the first really, really good electric dirt bike. And that was, believe it or not, the origin of Electro & Co. Which if you've been watching the channel, I'm sure you're familiar with Electro & Co. It's gotta be my favorite electric dirt bike brand. Specializing in DIY upgrade kits. Ooh. But then you might be wondering, if he runs his own company, his own electric dirt bike company, Electro & Co, why is he buying and riding someone else's bike, right? It's a good question. Oh shit. Whoa. Oh, I can't believe that. I can't believe I rolled away from that. I was way off balance there. Well, and the reason he bought this bike, because I asked him that question, and he made a really good point that in order to make really good bikes, you gotta ride really good bikes. And right now it's hard to deny that the Stark Varg is the best bike on the market. This bike is 60 kilowatts, 60 kilowatts. The strongest Suron you'll ever see is like 30. And, that, and that's like not even a real thing. Like 24 would be the most I've seen on a Suron. 60 kilowatts on this bike, 80 horsepower. I think competitive level motocross bikes in this category are 60 horsepower. So this is 20 horsepower more than competitive level gas dirt bikes. So in order to know what the bar is in the industry, you, get, you basically have to ride and study this bike. So that's what he's doing. Yeah, this is technical. The GoPro just never gives it justice. I could be doing backflips right now and it would look like I'm just cruising around the neighborhood. Well, oh, so beautiful out here. We're in Northern California. I'm an eight hour drive from my house, but I drove the eight hours 
for this bike. It was so worth it. Oh, no, no, I dumped it. I'm such a noob on this thing. I feel like it's a beginner. Oh, dude, they're heavy. It's different. Dude. It is. I got this to transition to that. Oh, really? You intend on getting one of these? Mine's getting built in like 30 days. Congratulations. I didn't want to just jump from light beast to that. I think that's a wise decision. I've only been putting miles on this to get ready for that. That is so funny. It's like your trainer bike for the real deal. Oh, we're out to some pavement. <laughs> so I'm up in mode two now. Oh, I gotta put my goggles on. Oh my God. So much. So it's a big bike, but it pops up like the little razors and I'm only in mode two. I don't want to go too hard on the pavement. If this bike had some supermoto wheels and I took it out to the street, it's over. It's over. A bear, a bear. That's him. Oh, shit, there's a bear. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on. My electrical burns peeling up pretty good. Story time in the last video. Here we go. On the main road. I don't feel the need to get out of mode two at all. Come on. This is mode two. I so. Oh. This is half throttle. I don't even want to go beyond half throttle. In mode two, it goes up to five. <laughs> I gotta wait for the other guys. Holy shit. This is, I need one of these. I need to put some street wheels on this. Well, first of all, I need to get one. And then I need to put street wheels on it. And then I need to take it out basically to the highway. I don't know where else I could test this that has enough space. And maybe even put license plate on it. Make it fully street legal. Because you're not getting away with saying this is, oh, this is just an e-bike. I left the, the pedals at home. This is the fastest, by far, fastest, most powerful bike I've ever ridden. And I'm only in mode two. So let's just leave it at that for now. I think rolling around on a Supermoto Stark Varg in 2023, 2024, it's gonna be really hard to top that. And I'm, I'm giving away this cart. This cart is insane, custom, 70 mile per hour, one of one electric hyper cart. As always, thank you so much for watching. As they do. Yeah.